Hi everyone, this is Dr. Manu Krishnan K. Today we will be discussing about the media stenum part 1 where we will exclusively focus on the superior media stenum and its boundaries and contents. So we will define what is media stenum, we will see what is superior media stenum and what are the contents passing through that. So here in this diagrammatic representations, you can find out the right and left lung which is colored in purple and you can see a potential space which is colored in orange and blue here, right? So that potential space which exists between the two lungs is termed as the mediastinum. So you may describe the mediastinum as follows. It is the middle space left in the thoracic cavity between the two lungs or it is the median septum or separation of the thorax between the two lungs. So, in these two ways, we can describe the mediastinum. And let's discuss about the boundaries of mediastinum. So, anteriorly, so here the, we have taken a sagittal section through the thoracic cavity. And you can make out some of the structures. This is the sternum, which is having a manubrial part, body, and the cephoid process. Then we have the vertebral column, T1 to T12 vertebrae here. Then there is a potential space lying in between that. So the thoracic cavity, like particularly between the two lungs, the space is called as the mediastinum. And they are bounded by, anteriorly by the sternum, posteriorly by the vertebral column, and particularly the thoracic vertebrae T1 to T12. Then inferiorly bounded by a structure, a muscular structure called as the diaphragm, which separates the thoracic cavity from that of the abdominal cavity. And superiorly, we can see there is a dotted red line which I have represented to define the thoracic inlet. So as the name suggests, the thoracic inlet is the opening or the round opening which is present in the neck region to facilitate the passage of the structures coming from the neck. So that defines the thoracic inlet. And here in this diagram itself, you can see it is partitioned into different compartments. Here there is a superior compartment. Then this is the inferior compartment, which is again divided into 1, 2 and 3. Then the divisions of mediastinum can be explained as follows. We have a superior mediastinum and an inferior mediastinum, where the inferior mediastinum is further divided into anterior, middle and posterior mediastinum. So these are the, these are the basic classification or divisions of mediastinum. So you have to always remember this flowchart. Then let's see each of them in detail here. So here you can see the two lungs which is covered by a green outline that is nothing but the pleura. And the, when the pleura is coming in close contact with the mediastinal space, this medial aspect of the lungs is covered by the mediastinal pleura. It is named according to the relation to the mediastinum. So we have mediastinal pleura on either side of the mediastinum. So that defines the boundaries on either sides of mediastinum. Anteriorly it was sternum, posteriorly the post posterior vertebral column, then superiorly the thoracic inlet and inferiorly the diaphragm. That was the boundaries of mediastinum. So if you take a cross section, transverse section through this particular level, this will be the actual picture what you get. So that is actually we are taking a cross section at the level of the inferior mediastinum to know how this inferior mediastinum is again divided into three compartments. So here you can see the lungs and the pleura which is covering it. So on either sides we have the boundary that is the mediastinal pleura. Then the inferior mediastinum or inferior mediastinal space is again divided into three compartments. We have an anterior compartment that is the anterior mediastinum, then the middle mediastinum and the posterior mediastinum. So this defines the classification or further divisions of inferior mediastinum. So let's discuss the superior mediastinum in detail today. So we will first define the boundaries of superior mediastinum, then we will go for the contents of the superior mediastinum. So which are the boundaries of superior mediastinum? Anteriorly, you can see this on this particular part is defined as the superior mediastinum. So we just have to find out which is this red line, which is this blue line which is drawn here and what are the structure here in the posterior aspect and what is the structure here in the anterior aspect. 
So anteriorly you can say it is bounded by the sternum and by looking at this diagram you can clearly say that it is the manubrial part of the sternum and posteriorly the first four thoracic vertebrae and superiorly I have told you that is nothing but the thoracic inlet. So we have a clear line drawn here, a transverse line, a blue dotted line. That line is drawn at a particular level and we can define it as the line that is imaginary line which is drawn between two points. The first point is the joining point of the manubrial part of the sternum with that of the body and that is termed as the angle of Lewis. So this angle formed over here is angle of Lewis or sternal angle. So if you draw a transverse line which is starting from the sternal angle running backwards and reaching the lower border of T4 vertebrae here that is termed as the inferior boundary of superior mediastinum. So that defines the boundaries and uh, as I have told you previously the either sides of the mediastinum will be always covered by mediastinal pleura. Then we will see the contents of superior mediastinum which is very important to remember. So the structures that are present in the mediastinum that is particularly the superior mediastinum are trachea and the esophagus. Then the arteries which are present over there is the arch of iota and its branches which are the branches of arch of iota. We have the brachiocephalic trunk then the left common carotid and the left subclavian arteries. Then the veins which are present on the superior mediastinum includes the upper half of the superior vena cava, then right and left brachiocephalic veins. Then the lymphatics include thoracic duct, glands include thymus and the nerves include the vagus nerve, phrenic nerve and the cardiac nerves. So here we have the diagrammatic representation where you can see so this particular green line which I have drawn here is nothing but the inferior boundary of superior mediastinum. Below that it is the inferior mediastinum, right. So here you can see the contents of superior mediastinum. We have the trachea which is colored in grey. Behind that we have the esophagus. Then you can see the upper part of the inferior vena cava. Then we have the arch of iota with its three branches, the brachiocephalic trunk then the left common carotid and the left subclavian arteries. So this are the, these are the major contents of this superior mediastinum. And in addition to that we have some thoracic like the lymphatics that is particularly the thoracic duct passing through it and anteriorly like uh, there will be a gland which is lying just behind the sternum that is nothing but the thymus gland. That is a rudimentary gland in adults but in childhood it will be prominent. So this concludes today's session on the superior mediastinum and the divisions of mediastinum. So in the further classes we will be discussing in detail about the inferior mediastinum. Thank you.